Okay, here we have the Roland MC202. Now, for those that don't already know, the oscillator on this machine is is a Curtis based IC, and that's the Curtis uh, SEM 3340. Now, basically, the outputs of this chip have the square wave, the sawtooth, uh, the sub oscillator is is part as a separate part on on the MC202, but also the the Curtis oscillator outputs a triangle wave. Now this isn't wired in to this machine, so what you can do is uh, you can add an extra jack, you can place it on your front panel, on your rear, or you can actually wire it direct to the source mixer. And you could take the output from this triangle oscillator, or triangle waveform rather, and you can incorporate that into your MC202. So basically, all you need uh, to do that is a, is a jack and, a, and some shielded wire. Now, if you want to run this back into the filter, you can, like I say, you can wire it directly, or you can also put the VCF input onto a jack. And uh, for that, you'll need another, obviously you'll need another jack, a bit of wire, and you'll also need a 100k resistor. Um, and what I'll show you now quickly is uh, that's the square wave, that's your saw, and that's your sub. But if I take a patch cable, so I've already obviously I've already made these. Um, I've got the triangle output here. And if I take this and plug it into the VCF input, when I press a key, I'm getting the, the triangle wave. But I, I don't have any control over the volume of it. So you could you could wire in a jack, but in this case, I've got a modular system here. And I've got an attenuator here, so I'm going to take the output of the triangle wave to an attenuator. The output of the attenuator back into the VCF filter, and that will give me a volume control. And that's actually running through the filter, so you can see that I've now got a triangle with a control here, and that's the square wave with the triangle and the saw or the sub. And of course, you know, an extra waveform is always nice, but if you've got a modular system, um, instead of running this to an attenuator directly, I can run this, let's see, I take a triangle output and I'm going to run it to, let's have a look here, I've got here a wave multiplier by Dopfer. I'm going to take the input into that and take the output back out to the VCF, or rather back out to the attenuator so I can adjust it. And when I press the key now, I can I get a lot more harmonics. And then make sure, if I connect up my oscilloscope, let's see, uh, the output here, I can take it to the multiple. Uh, I don't know if the oscilloscope video is going to work, but I've got another camera running on the scope, so we will just connect that in again. So if I, if I just play this without the shifting, because basically the wave multiplier number two is basically just, just gives you um, four shifted, phase shifted versions. So there's, there's the clean triangle. And if I start in is shifting some of these. I've got some. I've got some LFOs running on this as well. Very slowly. As you can hear, it adds a lot more uh, harmonics to the to the basic triangle. And then you can, of course, you can mix the other waveforms in with that.
actually you get a really fat sound And this, this goes way beyond what an MG202 should be able to do. Yeah, but basically, obviously, a lot of that's coming from the modular. But, like I say, if you just have, if you just have a single patch cable, or you wire it directly with, you know, with a, with a trim pot, you can just have the basic triangle mixed in. With your normal waveforms. But if you've got modular, obviously you, you probably want to do some extra outputs. Now I've got a lot of, like I say, I've got a lot of a lot of other jacks that I've added here. But uh, I'll explain those to you at another time. But for now, if you want to have another triangle and you want to have VCF input, I'm going to post up some schematics on on the blog. Now, if you're looking at this on YouTube, you want to go to visit dinsync.info if you want to find out how to do this. And you, this will also work with the SH101 because that's also got uh, a SEM3340 oscillator, which isn't wired up for the triangle output. So I'll post up schematics for that as well, um, some just some brief instructions. And I'll sh I'll make a little diagram to show you how to do it with j with jacks or with uh, a jack and uh, a variable resistor, you know, potentiometer, so that you can you know you could actually incorporate that into your box and you'd have another control to mix in the triangle with your source mixer and that's about it so yeah keep an eye on the blog because there's a lot more sort of things like this to come <laughs>